What's up everybody, this is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front, and if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Today we're going to show you just how super easy it is to create reminders in a Microsoft list. Stick around! I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands cause I gotta use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd, I like maple syrup, all my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. Okay, so let's get the timer rolling. All right, boom. First thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure you have a date column. If you don't, I'll show you how to make it later. And then you're going to see you got the date column here, and you want to get a reminder when the contract's going to be over. So you're going to go up here into the automate section, and you go set a reminder. It lets you choose between whatever date columns you got, contract end date, and then you just start filling in stuff. It's been a while since I've seen this screen, and it's taken forever to load. Is this counting against my 60 seconds? Yeah, all that's good. Continue. Get an email reminder. Create one day. I'm not going to create this because I don't want a bunch of reminders, but you could set the number of days in advance. Just do it, you know. Boom. And then create. You'll get an email. That's it. Probably way more than 60 seconds, but let's b -b 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 break it down and see what's going on here. All right. So first and foremost you have to like share and subscribe and then you have to have a date column that you've added here you can't do it off of like modified and created by the like the system columns you can do it by a custom date column that you have added to the list how do you do that this is how you do that you hit the little plusy plus and you're going to go to date and time you're going to say next and you're going to say this date no spaces. There's another video that explains probably why I don't do that uh, or I don't add spaces. Date and time. Do I include the time? Uh, doesn't make a difference. Friendly format, whatever, whatever. You got the, you put a default value in there, uh, more options, all the normal stuff for columns, blah, blah, blah. Biggest thing with the date column is do you want to include the time? Do you want friendly format? Friendly format makes me kind of nutty, so I just leave it to regular. And we save and then we've got your column and now you can go into the automate section and here you've got like you can create rules but if you've got custom date columns it will show those as fields that you can use for reminders so you pick the one that you want to get a reminder on we'll say the new one this date and then some wheels spin and it happened a little bit faster this time you know i hadn't run one of these in, in a while so makes sense um added bonus if you end up with like little exclamation marks here just click on your triple dots and you'll be able to like fix those connections pretty pretty straightforward going to go to continue and then you can name the flow so it's going to create your own private flow um in the default environment and you can name it whatever you want it okay and you can set the number of days that you want to get reminded okay hopefully that helps you set reminders based off of a date column in SharePoint or Microsoft list let us know if this works for you and what other videos would you like to see us create remember do the best you can with what you got SharePoint rocks and so do you we'll see you next time I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands cause I gotta use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd, I like maple syrup, all my pancakes, I don't care.